Hey everyone, Anthony here, and today we're gonna to be unboxing La Fleur Dominicana Chisel Sampler. But before we get into the sampler, just a little background about La Fleur Dominicana. You know, the owner of the company is Lito Gomez, and to me, Lito's always been a kind of an innovator in this industry. Like he thinks outside the box. He always thinks of a way to separate his product maybe from anything else out there in the market. And the chisel shape is very, very unique. And the story is very interesting how Lito came up with that chisel size. So Lito Gomez, the owner, you know, would drive from farm to farm in the Dominican Republic, but as he drove, he loved to smoke a cigar. So as he was smoking a cigar as he was driving, of course he had the cigar clenched in his mouth. And then, you know, as he looked at the cigar, he thought it had a great mouth feel, had a cool shape after he actually was smoking and it had that kind of flat end to it. So he thought to himself, what if I came up with a cigar that was actually shaped this way from the beginning? So a very rare size, very hard to make, but that's how the chisel was born. So let's get into it. So before we get into the blends in the sampler, I actually have to choose one to smoke. So I haven't smoked the Cameroon in a while, so let's get this thing cut and lit. So the LFD Cameroon chisel is very unique from the perspective of wrapper. It's Cameroon wrapper, which is rare in its own right, but also it's Cameroon Lajero. So Lajero is tobacco that comes from the top of the plant. So that's why you, sometimes you'll see Cameroon in stores and sometimes you'll see it disappear for a little while because it doesn't yield a lot of tobacco. They're only using Cameroon from the top. But what that does, it changes the dynamic and, the, and the, really the flavor and intensity of Cameroon. I love the fact that it is Lajero. You can see it's a very dark shade of Cameroon. The initial blast is a slight sweetness, but you get actually more spice to this cigar than you would normally with a Cameroon wrapper. So it's Cameroon wrapper, Dominican filler, Dominican binder. Inside the blend, like all the chisels, you have a, definitely a decent dose of Lajero in there, which adds spice itself. But when you're talking about Cameroon wrapper that is from the top of the plant, it adds another dimension of kind of strength and intensity. So it's much different than any other Cameroon out there. So let's get into the other cigars in the sampler. You know, all in the chisel format. You know, essentially these are basically a Toro size with a special chisel shape to it. So six by 52 with the chisel top. But the thing I like about brand samplers, have you ever heard people say, you know, that's a brand sampler? It means it's brand specific, as opposed to a mix of different varieties of, from different factories. It all comes from the same factory. And what I love about having a brand sampler, it really shows you the diversity in the portfolio. So for people out there to be like, oh, La Fleur Dominicana tastes like La Fleur Dominicana. When you get a brand sampler, it's proof positive that that's not the case. All the blends are different. So it's really like showing off a portfolio, right? So. I have the Cameroon here I'm smoking, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. And also in the sampler, you have the La Flor Dominicana Coronado. So the Coronado, totally different blend. It's a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, Dominican filler, Dominican binder. It's gonna hit the palate very different from the Cameroon series. Same unique shape, different blend entirely. Then you get into the Lajero series. So the Lajero series is gonna be medium plus as far as strength goes. It uses a Sumatra wrapper, Dominican filler, Dominican binder. Again, very different blend than the Coronado, than the Cameroon. Then you have the Double Lajero series. So the Double Lajero has both the natural wrapper, which is Sumatra, and also has a Maduro, which they use Connecticut Broadleaf. The Double Lajero is just what it sounds like. They put a double dose of Lajero in it. That cigar is definitely a spice bomb. It's a very rich, I think it's definitely full body. You could say medium to full depending on the strength that you normally smoke, but I consider La Flor Dominicana Double Lajero to be a very full bodied cigar. And the Sumatra is so different from the Broadleaf. So you're smoking the Double Lajero, even though they're on the same heading, Broadleaf changes the dynamic where Sumatra has more earthy spice notes to it. The Broadleaf has more kind of a sweet undertone to it. So it rounds out the blend a little bit. But that's why I love a brand sampler like this because it really, really shows off the diversity in a portfolio. And honestly, if you want to get a true taste of a blend, a brand out there, grab a brand sampler and try the different blends because it shows you, even though they're all the same shape, the blends and the wrapper varieties change dramatically as you go along. So I want to thank you all for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. 
But before we depart, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you here next time.